Right, Darren Stewart, East London's finest. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing, man? You're looking in good shape. I'm always looking beefy out here. Look, too much sauce. <laughs> uh-huh. is, is this just how life goes, Darren? We finally get a good bit of weather and you've got to leave the country for work. <laughs> yeah, it's mad, isn't it? But where I'm going is even hotter, so it's cool. Yeah, I thought I'd check just to see how hot it was over there. 41 degrees today. It's a different sort of heat as well, isn't it? I don't know if you've been mm. over there much, but it's that like real dry heat. You'll get on your tongue, this stuff. Yeah, I ain't been out there now, man, but I heard it's similar to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, real similar. Um, what's your schedule looking like? When are you flying out? Monday, okay. 7th. Okay, but don't mean to start on too uh, personal a note, but how much more pleasant have you been to be around at this stage of camp, especially now that you're not cutting down to 185, man. Your friends and family must be delighted. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. I'm happy. It's crazy, man. It's the best I've ever been. Yeah. How, how does it kind of affect you? We can talk about training in a minute, but how does it just affect your mood, just generally life stuff? Uh, horrible, because you can't just train for a fight. You have to train and make weight. I, I might want to go for a jog, because I want to get some cardio in, but no, I've got for a jump to make weight, you know? I have to put a suit on or a jumper on and that when I'm training, do you know what I mean? Now it's just, I'm chilling now, I'm fighting for the fight now. Make weight in the fight week, that's it, that's what it should be. Yeah, does it, does it allow you that kind of more focus, I suppose, on what you actually have got to be doing here, which is getting ready for a big fight? Yeah, that's it. That's what you should be focused on. Practice for the fight, make the weight cut in a week. That's how it should be. You've been up at 205 before. Did, did you forget kind of what this feeling's like? Kind of being fully replenished, not depleted all the time? Definitely, man. This is why I said I've happy as I've been since I think I was 205 five years ago, I think it was. Um, yeah, I definitely forgot how this feeling was. This is a, it's an amazing feeling. I'm just training for a fight. I've in this camp, I'm going up. Normally I'm coming down, 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 and trying to perform, you know what I mean? Now I'm just going up. Whose idea was it for this fight to be up at, at 205? Me, my idea. I'm sick and tired of these tents. They sit you in. Yeah, man. What are these tents like? Tell me about the tents. I'm just sitting there like in these tents. It's horrible, man. Infrared saunas, isn't it? So infrared takes longer for you to sweat. Yeah. And yeah. the bath, you don't fit in the baths and that. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. So I said, I, I said, I made a promise to myself. Whether I think go back to normal or not, I'm doing next fight like heavy. Give yeah. a body a rest, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Um, how hard was the weight cut for you? Because, you know, we see you in, in a middleweight, you, you don't look like a huge middleweight, but this is a massive Thank jump, you. isn't it? This 20 pounds is huge. Exactly. I don't look like a massive middleweight because I haven't had time to recover. Everyone else is different. I can't speak for no one else but myself. Some guy might go from middleweight and, and recover to 100 kgs. That's them. Me, I need at least two days. Mm. I cut the middle where everyone's like, you look like a bloody, you look like a uh, welterweight. When I come out there, I'm small. I am small. I ain't fully recovered. Look at my eyes going in when I'm making weight. It's crazy. Mm. Now, I'm pretty, I'm going to be a small light heavyweight. But I tell you now, this is what I am at a camp. So I've got to deal with it. Whether they're bigger than me or not, I've got to deal with it. I am like this at a camp. When I'm made weight and middleweight and I hydrate back to 92, Let's say, I don't I don't train at 92. I must be good to train at 92. Do you know what I mean? I'm naturally a 100 kg guy. So I'm looking to go, I'm looking to hydrate back to the fight now at 97, 98 kind of guy. Not 92 depleted. This is why I look skinny. And I've had to always fight with heart. People are like, Darren, you got heart. So yeah, I have to use heart because I'm depleted. And I ain't no hypocrite. The fights I've won, I'm happy. That wins a win, innit? I fought, I'm middleweight, I'm happy. I ain't gonna take nothing away from it. But I still ain't been myself going into a camp. I'm still not fully hydrated when I'm going in there. How are you going to have to change your uh, your style, your approach to a fight? Because there's, there's some big guys up at 205, huh? Yeah. Um, you mean change my style for you guys to see when I'm in the ring? Yeah, like just going yeah. up against bigger opponents. You're going to have to approach things slightly differently. This is the thing, what I'm saying. That's why I asked the question. Do you mean approach for you guys to see on camera? Because I'm this anyway. I train with big guys anyway. So it's normal to me. Um, 
One thing I beat these guys on is speed. They could be bigger than me, but in the day we weigh the same. Yeah, in the day I'm strong. When you feel me, I'm strong. I'll tell you that for a fact. Why? Because I'm not depleted. They only beat me because, you know, they're higher, they're taller than me, they've got longer range. I'm fast. There's no one in that light heavy division that moves like me. If they do, not at a constant pace. So that's one thing I've got against these guys is speed, movement. So that's how I've got to do is move. But mm-hmm. I can have it as well. Don't get it twisted. I can have it out as well. Because like I said, I have it out at a camp at this weight anyway. People don't know this because they don't see me. They just see me when I walk out. Darren walks out as a middleweight. No, I'm not. I'm only middleweight because I'm a height. I'm not middle. I'm not middleweight because I'm not strong enough or I'm not fast enough. I'm middleweight because of my height. That's what it is and my size. I think I'm big anyway. To be fair, if I don't look big, I feel big. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. You've also got. I'm interested in this. A bit of a background in dancing. So when it comes to footwork, none of these big guys are going to be able to keep up, right? They can't dance like me. I've got, I've got, I've got, but my footwork comes from Taekwondo, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, when I started Taekwondo, I used, to be, I used to walk out about 106 kg, 107. But I was a bit more chubby and I was fast. So when I come to MMA, I was moving a certain way. Everyone was like, oh, my God, you're moving fast. So I'm thinking to myself, this is normal Taekwondo. Everyone was like, you move fast for a big guy. But I'm thinking, this is normal Taekwondo. You know what I mean? I was fighting 100 plus. Like, we had to move like that. So to come to MMA and see the light heavy guys don't move, it's a bit weird, I'm thinking. But then I understand it's not your sport. So that's one thing I've got from Taekwondo is the speed and the movement. Let's talk about this fight. You're going back in there with, uh, with Eric Anders um, after that March fight that ended with the, um, with the illegal knee in a low contest, not the way anyone wants this to finish. Um, what was a real shame about it was that it felt like we were getting something a little bit special. This was gearing up to be a real entertaining fight, wasn't it, Darren? Exactly. It was fun, man. He dropped me. I was like, oh, shit, I'm in a fight. I ain't, dro- I ain't been dropped for time. All right, let's get back up. Ref was all screaming like he's going to sh- like he's gonna stop the fight and that. I'm thinking, mate, relax. Like, I'm getting up. Do you know what I mean? That fight as well, the first round, I don't think any other first round started like that. Do you know what I mean? So it's going to be a good one still. It's going to be an even better one now. What did you learn? What did you pick up from him in that first fight that's going to hold you in good stead going in again? Uh, he can't take my shots, man. He can't take my shots, man. I know he was hurt. It's why I was grappling. Um, he was frying at me, though, when I was rocked because he caught me. And I was firing back. Um, but I feel like he can't take my shots, man. And that was me depleted. I had no energy that fight. I was still recovering. I didn't train during the week. Yeah, five hours a day trying to make the weight. I had a migraine all week. And, you know, the power was still too much for him. He might sit there saying, no, it wasn't. But you have to look at the man in the mirror. I know my shots hurt you. I know my shots hurt anyone. And I'm not, like, heavy. So imagine, like, they're big on this size thing, you know. It's their category. They're big dogs. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the one in the small pool and all that. But it's what it is, isn't it? I don't care as long as I'm happy. But I know I hit harder, like heavy. I know I hit harder, and I'm fast. Yeah. I can do both. You see, at like him, you see at middleweight, my body's depleted, so I have to fight a bit and a bit like, you know, with heart because I'm drained as it is to, to fulfill my game plan. Now at light heavy, I'm happier. I have a choice to do both. Mm-hmm. Don't want to stand and bang, or don't want to dance. Bit of salsa, you know what I mean? It's up to me. Don't want to sit my tongue and you know what I mean. I have more fun with it. Yeah, yeah, understand, understand. Hope we see some salsa next week. A two step might not be enough, but the salsa might get it done. Yeah, why um, not? Do a little shimmy in there. Why not? We're getting our fans there in Glendale. Um, from my point of view, that's going to be a shame because listening to your corner while you're fighting with no fans has been one of the highlights of lockdown. Uh, tell me, what does baby food mean? Oh, light work, easy money, like punch him up, man. It's nothing, baby food. You know what I mean? That's what it means, man. That's nothing. You got this. You got this, basically. East London terms, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. So UFC 263, you back in there with Eric Anders. Baby food or what? Are we going to see another slugfest? What's going to happen here? Uh, slugfest if need be. But I'm looking to do a little Ali in there. Hit and don't get hit, man. Just touch him. Just have fun in there. Yeah. Talk 
little shuffle, just have fun in it. It's boring to the fans, yeah, but to real martial artists, yeah, it's fighting and it gets you to win. But we can have it out if you want to have it out. I never, you know me, I would put on a show, but if I'm backed up in the corner, I ain't running. I'm batting that gum shoe and having it. But again, I want to be a little dancing in there. You know what I mean? Ali, touch and move. That's the whole point. So let's go. Speed, power. Mate, I'm pumped. <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm pumped. Yeah. This is good so to be special, I. man. Uh, Darren, thanks so much for joining us. Let's catch up soon enough, all right? Cheers, mate. Thank you.